In this movie, we'll be going into a little bit more detail about how Modernizer actually works. Now we know what it does. It does a number of tests to figure out what features browsers support, but how does it actually do those tests? Now, if you're not particularly familiar with JavaScript, this lesson will go a little bit fast, but really it's just to show you that you can look under the hood and see how this actually works. To answer these questions, I'm gonna hop into the Modernizer code itself, and we'll see how it's doing all of this. On modernizer.com, I'm gonna click on development. Now from here, we can build a custom version of Modernizer, but we don't want to do that. We want the development version, which has all of the various comments that explains how things work. Now, if you scroll through this, you'll see a lot of gobbledygook. Modernizer has to compensate for the quirks of all these different browsers, and so the code is not necessarily always straightforward. In this lesson, we're not gonna go over all of Modernizer's code, but I am gonna show you a couple examples. The first one I'm gonna show you is geolocation. So I'm gonna press Command F or Control F on Windows and type geolocation. Here's the code that detects whether geolocation is supported in the browser. Modernizer creates a test, which is a function that's associated with a particular feature. In this case, the geolocation feature, and here's the function. Now all of these test functions simply return true if it's supported or false if it's not. Now all these test functions generally return true if the feature is supported and false if the feature is not. In this case, it returns the truthiness of the following statement. Is there a geolocation key in the navigator object? If the visiting browser is Internet Explorer 6, because IE6 doesn't support geolocation, there's going to be no geolocation object in the navigator. On the other hand, if you're visiting in a modern web browser, you'll have navigator.geolocation. If I open up the console here, and you can get to that with Command Option J on Mac or Control Shift J on Windows, I can type navigator.geolocation, and sure enough, that is an object. It exists. That's why this function for this browser would return true. Now this is just one of the many ways we can do detection for different features. Various different features require various different types of tests. Here's another example down here. For drag and drop, we have a function which actually creates a div element. And then it returns the truthiness of the following statement. If draggable in div is true, or on drag start in div and on drop in div is true, then this is a truthy statement. Now, if you don't understand that, that's totally fine. Right now, the point is not to understand every piece of the JavaScript, but just to know that it's not magic. You can jump into the source code and look at how things work. If you ever need one particular detection feature of Modernizer and you don't want to load the entire library, you can literally open up the Modernizer source code, figure out how that test works, and then build that test into your application without Modernizer. Now there are a lot more tests in the Modernizer suite, background size, border image, border radius, box shadow, but we're gonna stop right here. Again, the point of this movie is to show you that this is not magic. Mortals can read this code and figure it out. And knowing that you have that capability is very empowering.